Hi everyone, just getting ready to put the rear shocks on the Champion Euro Premier. Uh, removal of the old ones was the same as the front. Uh, just hard to get two bolts up on the top behind the frame rails. and uh, Lots of working the nuts back and forth with lots of uh, penetrating oil on them. And uh, they finally came loose. So ready to install the new ones. We've got brand new grade 8 hardware from... Uh, Found that at Fastenal, three quarter inch bolts with the 16 thread, uh, fine thread with top lock nuts, uh, new washers, some anti seize for the threads, uh, multi purpose grease to put on the uh, bolts and inside the shock uh, mount collars there, just to keep them from seizing up. Uh, we've got our one and an eighth uh, socket, one and one eighth open end, a uh, little light front of there, and uh, the uh, Using the air gun with one and one eighth uh, impact socket on it, and then our brand new uh, rear shocks. These are the 24 dash. So can you see that? Yeah, this thing's not focusing well. 24015943s. That's what Spartan specifies for the rear of the Mountain Master chassis that we have on this 1992 Champion. The new shocks arrive uh, quite a bit longer than where I have the rear suspension at now. So um, you see that the shocks need to be compressed or the suspension needs to come down to get the, uh, the bolt through the bottom mount of the shock. Unlike the front where uh, the fronts the shock was actually shorter and I had to clip the green band and let the shock, shock extend to get it into place. So I'm going to uh, jack up the rear of the motorhome a bit, but remember you got to be real careful with the shocks not installed because they are the limit uh, for the suspension. So you can damage the airbags if you raise it up too high and the, uh, the axle goes down too low. So be careful with that. I'm going to do it little by little. Okay, I've jacked up the rear of the motorhome, being careful to make sure, as you can see, the airbags didn't extend too far uh, and get pulled off the bottom uh, mount there. And I've got the shock mount close enough here to where I can just push it that little bit with my hand. It's not too difficult, otherwise I'd have to get a jack under here and uh, jack it up so that I can get the bolt in. If these go together, there was no washer underneath the head of the bolt then you've got one washer in between the shock and the mount a washer outside the shock and then your top lock nut um, anti seize on the threads and we're ready to tighten it all up okay on the top rear shock mount the uh, six inch grade eight bolt three quarter uh, goes through from the back side of the frame rail so you got to reach way up around under there Inserted in there's no washer up inside the frame rail up against the head of the bolt then up here You can see I greased the bolt and I greased inside the mount hole uh, Before putting the shot uh, inserting the bolt and putting the shock on it There is a washer in here on each side of the shock as you can see and then uh, I've got the anti-seize on the threads ready to screw the head of uh, the, the top nut on. I'll have to hold the bolt with my 1 8 inch socket um, because the open end wrench won't fit up inside the frame rail. It's a little too long so I use the socket on this side. The other side the open end wrench fit to hold it while I uh, put the, uh, the nut on. Up under the frame rail I've got the socket with uh, the one and one eighths on it on the head of the bolt to hold it while I uh, tighten the nut on the outside it's kind of tough to reach as you can see buried up in there and the manual says to work to between uh, 235 and 255 foot pounds it's done there's rear shock installation complete. 